Hello, everybody. It's been a while, but the storm is back in Southwest Kansas. Tonight, Champions Indoor Football League action from United Wireless Arena in Dodge City. Southwest Kansas Storm at home against the Rapid City Marshals. I'm Leon Lebel with you on the broadcast again tonight, and it's good to be back again for the storm. It's first home game since March 19th when they defeated the Wyoming Mustangs in dramatic fashion, winning that game 43 to 42 on a go ahead touchdown with just eight seconds left in the game. Storm have played two games on the road since then, including a 59 to 24 win against the Topeka Tropics. Storm, though, uh, took it on the chin last week on the road, losing 65 to 20 against the Billings and Montana Outlaws. That game last week, the Storm now two and two in league play, but a perfect two and zero oh at home. They'll try to keep it that way tonight against the Rapid City Marshals. The Marshals one and two in the Central of the Champions Indoor Football League. The Marshals coming off a 59 to 51 loss at Wyoming last week. They've also lost this season against Sioux City. Their only league win was against the winless Topeka Tropics. That was a 47 25 victory back on April 2nd. And along with the Billings Outlaws, the Marshals one of two brand new teams in the Champions Indoor Football League this season. Their head coach is Dante Dudley. He's a graduate of San Jose State University. Again, the Marshals in their first year as a franchise in the CIFL as we get ready for the coin toss here to see who's going to receive and who's going to kick off. And again, our first game at United Wireless Arena since March 19th. And that was an exciting game as Giovanni Sanders caught a touchdown pass from Jared Hurd with just eight seconds left to win that game. 43 to 42, eight seconds left on the clock in that game. Gianni, Giovanni Sanders since then, though, has taken over as the starting quarterback. He caught the pass because Jared Hurd no longer with the team. Jared Hurd left to get a tryout with the Canadian Football League and now has uh, since signed with the Frisco Fighters, Frisco, Texas, of the Indoor Football League. So Giovanni Sanders now the full-time starting quarterback for the Southwest Kansas Storm. As we see the uh, captains taking it to midfield, the Southwest Kansas Storm in those brand new teal uniforms trimmed in purple. While the uh, Rapid City Marshals come in the Dodge, the Marshals in the red and black uniforms. Once again, the Storm two and two on this season. The New look franchise in Dodge City, formerly the Dodge City Law, now the Southwest Kansas Storm. Matt Mounts, our referee tonight, the white hat, doing the honors. And let's see. Who won the well? We'll get the signal here in a second. And Southwest Kansas Storm won the toss, but they have uh, elected to defer to the second half. So that means they'll be kicking off. Dylan Burkhart, the field goal, the kicker, the place kicker for the Storm, will be doing the honors. And again, if you're not familiar with indoor football, field is 50 yards long. And so kick off from your own goal line. And that ball goes out of bounds on the other end, out of the end zone on the fly, or hits uh, out of bounds anywhere before it goes to the end zone. The receiving team gets it at midfield at the 25 yard line. So it's always important to get a good kick. Dylan Burkhardt, a local product again from Dodge City Community College. Just Mark Timberlake, the head coach. Southwest Kansas Storm says he needs to get this offense going. They need more rhythm. Again, last week really sputtered against Billings only scoring three touchdowns in that game and defense didn't get enough pressure on the quarterback as well as Billings went on to win that game 65 to 20. He's got a few uh, things up his sleeve tonight. May uh, put a some big alignment back in that uh, backfield as extra blocker maybe even run the ball. We'll, we shall see. Again Jared Hurd no longer with the team as a quarterback and also a big loss on defense. Lance Mathers out with an injury. The big defensive line. The last time we saw him, he had four sacks and a pick six in that game against Wyoming. Then got hurt late. Also, uh, Antoine Goodley, outstanding wide receiver, is still out. So here's the kick, the squib kick, and it's going to be taken and fumbled right there at the two yard line. And great coverage by the storm. And the Marshals are going to have to start from their own two yard line on this opening offensive drive. 
as Ethan Williams getting down there to make the tackle for Rapid City. That was uh, Levine and Macon, the wide receiver, and the return man couldn't handle the uh, squib kick. Lost it. That ball actually be marked at the five-yard line. As here we go, and the quarterback is Shane Martinez, 6'1", 225 pounder, number 15. Reedley Community College out of California, and the ball goes to the turf and picked up and brought down, and a good stop there for Southwest Kansas. Ashton McKenzie on the stop there. McKenzie. And this storm defense has been it's been tough this season against uh, the run. They can Mark Timberlake that wants to have put more pressure on the quarterback. They did not see that last week. Storm does have a big addition on defense. Former Oklahoma Sooner Ronell Lewis, known for his big hits back in college, nicknamed the Hammer at OU, and now in trouble. Martinez in the grasp in the back of the end zone throws it away. Now it says Jordan on his jersey. It is Shane Martinez. Number 15. Not sure why the, uh, the name is different, but uh, apparently <laughs> they never changed the jersey from a previous player. But the roster is Shane Martinez, number 15. And it'll be third down and 13. For the Rapid City Marshals, opening drive of this football game from United Wireless Arena in Dodge City, and the receivers they can go in motion forward for the staff, and they do. And here's the pass, and it is complete across the 15-yard line, and that is going to be good for a first down for Rapid City. As that was Levon Macon off the catch, and Martinez had a little time to throw the ball and it's going to be a first down at the 16 yard line of Rapid City still in their own territory. Big play there. Martinez this time going to take the snap over center. And it's a pitch out to the left side to the running back uh, Connor Olson. Olson takes it around that far side and picks up a couple yards. Looking for another good crowd tonight from the fans at United Wireless Arena. Two previous home games this year. The storm had around 2,800 fans. Mentioned they're 2 0 at home. Their first uh, game, first win was against Arlington, the Longhorns. That was a non league game back in early March. And Martinez throws another completion right at midfield. A nice throw and a terrific catch. Demetrius Davis with the catch for the Rapid City Marshals. And the Marshals on the move here after uh, facing a third and long deep in their own territory. They've come out and got it, got the ball to midfield. And, uh, Mark Timberlake, the head coach of the uh, Storm, a native of Oklahoma, has been a long time coach in the uh, state. Losing Enid. A lot of these players, and of course, this franchise moved from Enid, Oklahoma, a year ago. Mark Timberlake's family back in Enid, but he has lived in Dodge City since January. Talk a little more about that coming up. Here's a little handoff again. Olsen on that left side, and he's brought down quickly. Caleb Wright with the tackle. Wright is 6'3, 235 pounder from. Morrisville State College. Number 23 there for the Southwest Kansas Storm. It's underway. First quarter action. Near the 11 minute mark. Martinez again over center. He's got tied the ball. Tip is going to be picked off. Interception. Storm football as it was picked off by Keontae Griffin. Griffin out of Baylor University, 6'1", 230 pound defensive back. See who got the hand on that though. That was ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage and here we go. Martinez sliding over to his left and there we saw the tip. Keontae Griffin with the interception and a great start for the Southwest Kansas Storm as they'll have the football near midfield to start this their first possession of this game. And once again, the quarterback now is Giovanni Sanders. Sanders has played quarterback off 
off and on this year. But Jared Hurd uh, primarily was the starter, but now Giovanni Sanders, this is his third straight game as the starter, and they're going to hand up right to the left side there, and that's George Moriana. Moriana, kind of the workhorse running back for this team out of Illinois State University. Gets a hole right there initially, and then brought down, pick up about three on the play, and he'll bring up second down and seven, the ball at the 23-yard line. Again, Mark Timberlake says his team just needs to get more consistent on offense, find a rhythm, he says. That's very important and see if he can get things going tonight as uh, they struggled offensively last week against Billings and, well, nearly uh, turned the ball over and uh, picked up great yardage. George Moriana on that right side. A nice run. And that's a first down and 10. It takes it all the way down to the 19-yard line. That was just a, I don't know, that snap hit somebody. Uh, the center uh, kind of fluttered up there, and Sanders got it and handed it off to Moriana. And he picks up the first down. Ball at the 19 yard line of Rapid City. Nine and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Giovanni Sanders played at Santa Barbara City College. Another handoff, and uh, now we got a flag on the play. That was Torrance Young, Torrance Carr. Carr caught a touchdown pass. He's a former Oklahoma State Cowboy. And we'll get a call on the penalty here. And it's a holding call against Southwest Kansas. Jamar Seard call for the hold. And we've got an injury on the field and a timeout, so we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more from United Wireless Arena right after this. your posse and head for Boot Hill Museum this summer. Celebrate the history of Dodge City by exploring the brand new world-class interactive museum exhibits. Feel the rumble of a buffalo stampede. Have a conversation with the spirits of Dodge. Learn and relive the legend of Dodge City. Join us every night for gunfights, country-style dinner, and variety show. Who would smuggle a beer across state lines? Someone with a taste for Coors Banquet. It's been stolen, smuggled, and sought after since 1873. Still only brewed in Golden, Colorado. DC3 has it all. From in-person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life. ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. And back at United Wireless Arena in Dot City, Kansas, Dominic Logan was the injured storm player on the field, and he is now walking off uh, under his own power. It's good news there. Big number 77, six foot six, 315 pounder from Northwestern Oklahoma State. He had been injured and just uh, got back in the lineup and then goes down here on the first uh, offensive series for the storm as it's going to be first and 20, all back at the uh, 21 yard line. Southwest Kansas Storm territory after the holding penalty. So first and 20, Dominic Logan walking off the field. So here we go. And once again, the storm on this first offensive drive after an interception. Keontae Griffin came up with that interception. 
Storm have yet to throw the ball. And they continue to keep it on the ground as that's Torrance Young Carr, his second straight carry as he gets it up near the 24 yard line. That'll bring up second down. And about 17, I believe, or see how we pick up on the play here. So we see the uh, little crease there on the right side. I think we have another penalty flag. And this is going to be against Rapid City. And so it remain first down for the storm. First and 15 now, the ball at the 24 yard line. No score, just underway. First quarter action. United Wireless Arena. Beautiful facility for all kinds of events, but really a great place for arena football. Just a perfect dimensions. As there's yet another handoff, big hole right there up the middle. That's Zoe Davis, and Davis, a great athlete, crosses the 10 yard line down into the, down to near the 8 yard line, or make that the 13 yard line as he crossed the 15. Zuri Davis. A track athlete, he jumped 7 2 in college. And he uh, caught a touchdown pass a week ago against Billings. Giovanni Sanders threw for two touchdown passes in that game one to Davis and one to Torrance Young Carr. Sanders also ran for a touchdown. And again, keeping it on the ground in this game, a little reverse action coming to the near sideline. That's Von Van Dame. We haven't seen a lot of him play this uh, season and out of Southwestern College. Again, just a little reverse coming to the near side. Pick up a couple yards on the play. It's going to bring up third and four. Ball at the 13 yard line. Storm threatening early here after uh, coming up with the interception. Keontae Griffin came up on tip pass. Line of scrimmage. Storm got the ball near midfield, and here they are at the Rapid City 13 yard line. Third down and four, and the receivers in motion. A little flip out to the right side, and that's Moriana. Moriana is in trouble and still fighting his way, and is knocked out of bounds up against the wall on the far side. Still, Giovanni Sanders has yet to throw the ball. Mark Timberlake talking about putting some wrinkles in the offense tonight, and I guess that's the wrinkle. Going to keep it on the ground. Once again, Sanders was not the starting quarterback. He was more of a wide receiver, but they lost Jared Hurd. And now Sanders is the full-time starter. Here we go, fourth and four. Obviously the big play, the handoff right side, and it's going to be a first down for Torrance Young Carr as he celebrates with the fans over there on the far side. Fans get involved on that front row. They can uh, touch the players a little bit and talk to them. Also, the ball goes into the stands. Pass or a kick, they get to keep the ball. And yeah, the White Sox fan really happy there. <laughs> First down and six, first down and goal to go. The ball at the six yard line. Just over six minutes left in the first quarter. Six, six, six. Storm with the ball. Sanders, first time he's going to throw. No, he's going to tuck it in. He's going to keep it. And he is brought down at the two yard line. Giovanni Sanders didn't have anybody open, decided to run it and gets it down to the two. That bring up second and goal to go from the uh, well, one yard line. They mark it. Sanders again, probably making a good decision there. Nobody open in the end zone. Good tackle made there by Tarek Hussey. And now a loss of yard, a big loss on the play there as Moriana had no room to run. That'll bring up third down and goal to go. On the uh, tackle there, Ralph Turner, number 44. Ralph, a big man, pretty happy about the tackle as well. So it's now third down and goal to go. The ball to five yard line for the Storm. Again, held to just three touchdowns a week ago at Billings, and now trying to get on the board early in this game. We're going to have a 
We've got a timeout here. Let's see what officials are talking about. Actually, it's going to be a timeout, I believe, Rapid City. So the uh, Marshals are going to talk it over as third down and goal to go at the five yard line. When we come back, let's see if Southwest Kansas Storm get on the board. We're back with more football right after this. I made dinner. We got McDonald's. Dad didn't cook. Thanks, honey. Be my dad. There's a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries. For 150 years, Dodge City has provided 150 years of adventure. 150 years of excitement. 150 years of culture. Make some history. Celebrate with us. 150 years of Dodge City. The West is just the beginning. All right, man, what do you want to watch? Football or football? Let's go with football. Football it is. Feel kind of dirty watching another team. He'll get over it. Turn it up. Tony Belonovich here with another reason not to eat the Jimmy's Johns. These tryhards fresh baked their bread all day. Sandwich bread don't come fresh. It comes from a truck from out of state. Baked once a week at exactly none your business. So Jimmy's John's, enough with the fresh baked nonsense. Stevie, in front of my bread-like product. Tony, you're dead to me! Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. And it is first responder night here at United Wireless Arena, honoring the uh, first responders. And I guess they're doing some sort of a Demonstration here with the uh, canine unit. I certainly hope that's a demonstration. <laughs> As there he goes with a dog on his arm out of the ballpark and uh, 453 left to go in the first quarter. Third down and goal to go for the Storm as we come out of this timeout. And uh, the police uh, vehicle is off the field. As uh, again, we're in the uh, timeout still. No score with just under five minutes to play. And when we do come back, the Storm will have the ball and they're at the five yard line as it'll be third down and goal to go. In the other games tonight in the Champions Indoor Football League in Topeka, the Wyoming Mustangs are visiting the Topeka Tropics. Tropics, a brand new team also in the league this year, have yet to win a game this season. So looking for their first victory. Meanwhile, the Billings Outlaws, which uh, took care of the Storm last week, they are in Omaha taking on the Omaha Beef. Beef, the defending champions of the CIFL. In second place right now at 3-1 behind the unbeaten Sioux City Bandits at 4-0. Billings Outlaws 2-1. Third place, then it's the Salina Liberty and the Southwest Kansas Storm at 2-2. Two and two. So the... Storm back uh, on that long timeout. Third down and goal to go from the five yard line. Once again, I'm Leon Lebo with you on the broadcast. And as we mentioned, been a long time since our last uh, home game for the Storm, March 19th, when they won that exciting game over the Wyoming Mustangs. And now another timeout. This time it's going to be called by the Storm as. Quarterback Giovanni Sanders comes out and did not like what he saw and uh, is going to talk it over with his offensive coordinator there, Brandon Vinson. This may not be a long timeout because that was a brief discussion with the offensive coordinator. Again, if you're not familiar with indoor football, each team can have a coach on the field during offense, and it's usually 
it's either it's the offensive coordinator sometimes that's the head coach as well in this case though Brandon Vincent is the offensive coordinator under head coach Mark Timberlake so not a lot of discussion after that brief timeout Sanders back out of there back out there out of the shotgun. Talking about trying to get a rhythm on offense, it's uh, kind of difficult this long break. But here we go, third down and goal to go from the five. Two receivers to that far sideline, Sanders. He's going to keep it himself, zigging his way up the middle and crosses the goal line with a touchdown. Giovanni Sanders, that looked like a design play all the way around, a quarterback run as he kind of faked the throw and then took it up the middle. And as I mentioned, kind of zigzagged his way in. And it is a touchdown from the storm, a five yard run from the quarterback, Giovanni Sanders. Storm up six to nothing as Dylan Burkhardt to come in. Let's see if they go for two here. It's Brandon Vinson is talking it over with his quarterback. Looks like they're going to go for two. Two point conversion coming up. Trying to make it an eight to nothing game. Storm with their first offensive possession scoring. Sanders sends those two receivers to the far sideline. It's going to be a hand up to Orient, and he breaks the tackle and easily gets into the end zone for the two point conversion. And it is eight to nothing. The Southwest Kansas Storm on top in the first quarter. 3.53 left to go with the Rapid City Marshals. Back with more football right after this. Protex Spraying Service is well known throughout Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle for professional lawn care services. We offer customized lawn care programs tailored to either cool season or warm season grass, including fertilizer and weed and insect control. We treat all types of grass for nearly all types of conditions. We can diagnose and treat most disease early to protect your landscape. For residential and commercial lawn service in Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle, visit Protex Spraying Service online at ProtexSpraying.com. A home is more than just a house. And an office is more than just a place to work. Service Master is here to offer home and business services when you need them most. Coast to coast, we do it all for you. Service Master, the complete customer experience. When disaster strikes, count on our nationwide network of restoration specialists. Visit us online or call 1-800-RESPOND. And back at United Wireless Arena in Dodge City, the Southwest Kansas Storm on top of the Rapid City Marshals, 8 to nothing, taking advantage of an early turnover. Uh, interception from Keontae Griffin set the uh, Storm up in great field position. And they go on to score. Capped off the drive, capped off by quarterback Giovanni Sanders, five yard run. And then the two point conversion. So it's 8 to nothing as Dylan Burkhardt again kicking off from his own goal line. A little squib up the middle. And it will be fielded right at the one yard line and brought out to cross the 15. That's where the Marshals will start their second possession of this football game. Again, that's Levon Macon, the return man. Number 13 for the Rapid City Marshals. Again, the Marshals on their first possession got out of trouble when they were facing third and long from their own one yard line, got out the midfield, and then quarterback Shane Martinez picked up. Ball tipped at the line of scrimmage and then caught by Keontae Griffin, and that set the storm up with their first offensive possession capitalize with that touchdown and two-point conversion. So here we go with the Marshals. And once again, I want to reiterate, Shane Martinez, the quarterback, even though his jersey says Jordan. And man, he throws a quick pass out to the far side. Lakeem Christmas is brought down quickly by Travion Bryant. And there is also a penalty flag on the play. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. And that penalty is going to go against the uh, Storm, and that's against Caleb Wright. Five-yard penalty, and that will bring up first down and five. Ball to the 21-yard line after the penalty. And again, Martinez 
taken most of his snaps over center, not out of the shotgun. And his hand up, handoff right up the middle, and that's Olsen, counter Olsen, and going nowhere as he is brought down by Sidney Jones uh, leading the way. Sidney Jones, 6'2", 305 pound defensive lineman, is also helping out there, number 58. Jones is number 99. That was Ashton McKenzie coming in to help out. But how about Sidney Jones? He was all over that one from South Connecticut State University. Two and a half minutes left to go in the first quarter. Storm up eight to nothing. Second down and six. Pick of a, a yard on that play. So once again, Martinez over center. Going to send his receivers out. Will play action and dumps it off into the middle. Incomplete. Good coverage. Good defense there from the Storm. Martinez looked downfield. Apparently didn't have anybody open. Tried to check off underneath and Storm all over the intended receiver. And now it looks like Caleb Wright is injured. Number 23 holding his left hand and. Looks like he's in obvious pain there, but staying in the game. As it'll be third down and six in the ball at the Storm 20 yard line, or actually Rapid City's own 20 yard line. Martinez is going down. That's a sack. And in on that sack is number 58 for the Storm, Ashton McKenzie. Remember, we told you Mark Timberlake, the head coach for the Storm, really wanted to get more pressure on the quarterback tonight, and they've gotten it so far as they bring down Shane Martinez. Now bring a fourth down and 12 as the ball down to back to the 14 yard line. Uh, nobody punts in the arena football. You can try a field goal here and they're going to go for it as we are under a minute to play in the first quarter. Fourth and 12. Martinez in back to pass in trouble is going to dump off completes it. Uh, but it is well short of a first down. Great coverage. Travion Bryant right there to make the tackle. On Levon and make it. Man, Martinez in trouble again. Off his back foot having to throw it away. And check that was not making on the, that was Devante Tinsley. As the offense is back on the field with the storm. Brandon Vinson, the offensive coordinator. He's a former tight end himself at the at Illinois State University. Former Redbird. 38 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And Storm a great position here now. The ball at the Rapid City 16 yard line. First down and 10. Giovanni Sanders. Not asking him to pass the ball much tonight. Just one throw and now he's going to run it again. Sanders is very effective. Oh look at that spin move. Crosses the 10 down inside the five yard line. It'll be first down and goal to go for the Southwest Kansas Storm as the uh, clock continues to run in this first quarter is about to come to a conclusion. And that is the end of the first quarter of play. The Southwest Kansas Storm leading Rapid City Marshals eight to nothing. When we come back, the starts of the second quarter from United Wireless Arena in Dodge City. up your posse and head for Boot Hill Museum this summer. Celebrate the history of Dodge City by exploring the brand new world-class interactive museum exhibits. Feel the rumble of a buffalo stampede. Have a conversation with the spirits of Dodge. Learn and relive the legend of Dodge City. Join us every night for gunfights, country-style dinner, and variety show. Who would smuggle a beer across state lines? Someone with a taste for Coors Banquet. It's been stolen, smuggled, and sought after since 1873. Still only brewed in Golden, Colorado. 
DC3 has it all. From in-person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life. And back at United Wireless Arena in Dodge City, start of the second quarter as the storm threatening again on the three yard line. And George Moriana trying to reach across the goal line. I think they're going to rule him down just short of the goal line and bring up second down and goal to go. As the storm, terrific on defense early in this game, has really set the offense up. Interception got the uh, offense in. Great field possession for their field position with their first touchdown and now defense stopped Rapid City on downs to get the ball back deep in Rapid City territory. So it's second down and goal to go from the one. Giovanni Sanders out of the shotgun. Look for him to run it. No, he's going to hand off to Torrance. Young Carr and Carr is wrapped up right there at the one two yard line and that's going to bring up third down and goal to go as uh, once again. Ralph Turner, big Ralph. He's got some strength reaching him from behind and bringing uh, Torrance Young Carr down. Torrance Carr Young. By the way, he just added the hyphenated Young to his uh, name on the jerk. So third down and goal to go from the one yard line. Giovanni Sanders, number eight, the quarterback. And he's going to hand up to George Moriana. Moriana is into the end zone for the touchdown. And how about that? 14 to nothing. Southwest Kansas on top. Here as we just underway with second quarter action. But check it out again. Moriana taking that uh, handoff nearly at full speed and just slicing his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And let's see what the storm they'll go for two again. They did as they did on the first touchdown. Nope, this time Dylan Burkhardt is in the game and Dylan Burkhardt will kick off. And again, Burkhardt, a product of Dodge City High School and also played at Dodge City Community College. Been a bit of a struggle for Burkhardt with the extra points. Let's see if he can get this one up and it is good. So just like that, yeah, that's a perfect golf shot. 15 and nothing, the storm on top of Rapid City. Early in the second quarter, we're back after this. DC3 has it all. From in-person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life. ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. And for the third time in this football game, the Southwest Kansas Storm will be kicking off. Another, they kicked out the opening kickoff, and now the two touchdowns. Storm up 15 to nothing after George Moriana ran it in from one yard out. And the extra point was good, 15 to nothing. Another squib kick taken by Macon on the far side, and Avon Macon brought down just as he crosses the 15 yard line. And again, good coverage from the Southwest Kansas Storm. It's a little extra curricular activity after the play, but looks like no harm, no foul. 
There's a penalty on the play, though. Let's see what that's going to be all about. Fifteen to nothing. Storm with the uh, lead here early in the second quarter. And Matt Mount, our referee. So there was a, a little harm on the uh, fouls. It's an off or a, a personal foul, and that's against Antoine Hadley for the Storm. So that'll move the ball a little further down the field. As uh, once again, the Rapid City Marshals, their offensive uh, possessions have looked like this. This will be the third. The first one had an interception. Second one, they gave it over on downs. And now here we go. Let's see if the uh, Storm defense can come up big again. Ball at the 19 yard line. First down and 10. Martinez, a wobbly pass. Oh, he had his man in the end zone. He overthrew him. Incomplete. LeVon Macon. The wide receiver just out of his reach. Let's watch it again. So again, Martinez out of the uh, taking the snap right over center. Really wobbly, uh, fluttering pass and just out of the reach of his wide open wide receiver. So a break there for the storm. Second down and 10. Storm defense has been terrific so far in this game and getting some more pressure on the quarterback, but he gets it away and it's complete. And that is making again his receiver and this time right on the money. That's going to be a first down for the Marshals. And look at that one again, Shane Martinez. Uh, just right in the numbers. And I'll move the ball down to the eight yard line. First down and goal to go for the Marshals from the eight yard line. Definitely their best opportunity of this football game. See if the storm defense can come up big if their backs against the wall a little bit this time. For the Marshals over the middle, he's got his man, he's got a touchdown. Wide open over the middle, and now again, oh, now we got a fight going on. By the way, that was Lakeem Christmas who caught the pass, eight yard pass. And not very merry down there right now. And that's going to make it 15 to 6. I'm sure we're going to have some kind of penalties after that uh, extracurricular activity. Let's see what happens here. But it is a touchdown, makes it 15 to 6. And Draco Statham called for the uh, personal foul. That's the second consecutive personal foul against the Storm, and that uh, really helps out the Marshals. Got them better field position, and then after the touchdown, that uh, will be and the extra point is missed. By the way, the kicker is Melissa Strother, young lady, doing the kicking for Rapid City. We'll talk more about her. When we return, 15 to 6, storm on top. I made dinner. We got McDonald's. Dad didn't cook. Thanks, honey. Be right now. Yes. Yum. There's a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba da ba ba ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries. After the Rapid City touchdown, uh, the extra point no good, 15 to 6. Melissa Strother, she is the kicker, number 83. Female kicker for the Rapid City team. And she played 13 years of women's professional football. She's from San Diego. She decided she needed a new challenge, made the long drive from San Diego to Rapid City to try out for the team, and she made it. And she says uh, the reception, her uh, welcome has been terrific. And there she is. 
Kicking the football for the Rapid City Marshals. Just missed the extra point, though, as it is 15 to 6. Storm on top. Again, she'll be kicking from the her own goal line, as is custom in arena football. And it'll be a squib up the middle and takes a nice bounce into the end zone. And it will be picked up by Zuri Davis. And Davis spinning and brought down around the six yard line. And that's where the storm will start this uh, offensive possession. That was a great kick from uh, Strother as got the job done, got it into the end zone. And then Zuri Davis had really no room to run. Boy, you got a big block there, as I see on the replay from. Draco Statham, Statham, a former Dodge City Community College, conquistador number 17. Big, big block there. But the Storm back on offense, leading 15 to 6, 10 and a half minutes, 10.32 left to go in the uh, first half of play here at United Wireless Arena in Dodge City. Giovanni Sanders, the quarterback, again out of Santa Barbara City College, Santa Barbara, California. Sanders, a terrific athlete. Again, not asked to throw the ball much tonight. Has been running primarily, handing off or running running himself. 6'1", 185 pounder, and, and again hands off to the ooh, right side is George Moriena. Whew, that was a big hit coming in there, kind of almost kind of late for Rapid City. Tariq Pussy, number six. As uh, we see it again. There's Moriana, Moriana, and right there. Well, that, that could have been a little late. He was going down or was down. No, no flag on the play. Second down and eight, pick of a just two. Ball at the five yard line. Sanders out of his own end zone. See if he's going to throw it. Right. Yeah, he does, and nearly throws it into the hands of a Rapid City defender. As that was Corey Tucker, the defensive back that had the ball, nearly came up with interception. So they're down an eight for the storm. As Brandon Vinson, the offensive coordinator, gives the play to his quarterback. It's under nine minutes to play. The clock continues to run, obviously. So Giovanni Sanders. Got his receivers in motion, low snap, picks it up, and it's going to go deep down the near sideline. He's got his man. How about that? Zuri Davis with the catch. First and 10 deep in the Rapid City territory, and he gives the ball away to Dexter down there, a souvenir. That ball looked like it was thrown up for grabs. Quite honestly, let's see the replay of Sanders get a low snap, picks it off the ground, throws deep down here, and Right on the money, right over the head of the defender, LeBaron Mallory and Zuri Davis. Can we talk about what a terrific athlete he is? He was a terrific track and field athlete in college at the University of Texas Arlington, where he high jumps 7 2. He's got good speed as well. And now, are we going to have a video review? They are going to uh, review this play. So have Travis Kelsey down there is our uh, <laughs> review guy. Not really. Again, I'm not sure what they're looking for here. Is Davis he made the catch from what I can see, and then was uh, knocked up against the wall, out of bounds. But they are uh, they are reviewing the video. And we've seen several video reviews this season, but none of them have been overturned. Fifteen to six, storm on top of Rapid City, and the storm will be back home again. Back-to-back uh, -back home games as they'll next Saturday as the Topeka Tropics come to Dodd City. Okay, I think what they're doing there is trying to figure out exactly where he was knocked out of bounds, and it was at the five yard line. So, no, there's no doubt he caught the football. It was just a matter of seeing where he went out of bounds, knocked to the wall at the five yard line. So, 
It'll be first down and goal to go from the five. And the storm have had a lot of these opportunities tonight. First and goal to go from inside the 10 yard line and Giovanni Sanders. You know, when you have a quarterback, Sanders again, not the regular quarterback. Jared Hurd has been. Now we're going to have a timeout. I think it's going to be a 30 second timeout here. But talking about the quarterback situation, Giovanni Sanders now taking over as the full time starter. He kind of gives you an advantage down here in the red zone a little bit because of his running ability. Such a tight quarters down there. It's really difficult to pass sometimes. Not a lot of room to get open. And we got a guy like Sanders who can do so much back there with his legs. Kind of gives uh, the team an extra an extra option, especially in the red zone, which is the uh, 10 yard line and in, in, uh, inside the 10 yard line is considered more the red zone in arena football. Of course, you could, you could say the whole field is almost the red zone because you can score from pretty much anywhere 50 yards long. But here we're back. To Action first down and goal to go from the five. Giovanni Sanders got his man in motion. That's Moriano. Oh no, it's picked up though by the offensive line. Lineman on the uh, fumble football. Ben Hughes, big Ben. Ben Hughes, one of the strongest athletes ever come out of the state of Texas. Set a deadlift record when he was in high school. And alertly picks up that miscue, the bad snap. And a loss of a yard on the play, so that'll bring up second down and goal to go from the six yard line now. That was a big break there for the storm. It was a terrific opportunity. You don't want to blow up a turnover. Under seven minutes to play in the second quarter. Well, we may have offsides against the Rapids, and now an interception in the back of the end zone. And that is LeBaron Mallory who came up with the pick. We had penalty flags all over the place, and I thought we may have it offsides against Rapid City, and then there was another flag that flew, so let's see what this is all going to be about. But I think the Storm is going to get another shot here. Indeed, it was offsides. We're going to move that half the distance. That was Corey Henry, defensive lineman, trying to come on that left edge a little too quick. I think uh, we all saw that, so no interception. And I think uh, the quarterback there, uh, Giovanni Sanders, knew it as well. He just threw that one up for grabs, kind of a free play alert on his part. So now it's second down and goal to go from the three yard line. And it's going to be the handoff to Torrance Carr. Torrance Young Carr. Kind of just slithering his way in there. Young man from Oklahoma State University, 6'3", 230 pounds, and he's got a touchdown. Three yard run, and that makes it 21 to six. All of Southwest Kansas Storm's uh, touchdowns tonight have been on the ground. No surprise, they primarily have run the ball tonight. There's a good look at Torrance. As Dylan Burkhardt back in to try to finish it off with the extra point attempt. And that kick is right down the middle, right at you. It's perfect. 22 to 6, Southwest Kansas on top. Shot is good. We're back with more after this. For 150 years, Dodge City has provided 150 years of adventure. 150 years of excitement. 150 years of culture. Make some history. Celebrate with us. 150 years of Dodge City. The West is just the beginning. All right, man, what do you want to watch? Football or football? Let's go with football. Football it is. Feel kind of dirty watching another team. He'll get over it. 
Turn it up. Tony Balonovich here with another reason not to eat the Jimmy's Johns. These tryhards fresh bake their bread all day. Sandwich bread don't come fresh. It comes from a truck from out of state. Baked once a week at exactly none your business. So Jimmy's Johns, enough with the fresh baked nonsense. Stevie, in front of my bread-like product? Tony, get that to me! Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. Protex Spraying Service is well known throughout Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle for professional lawn care services. We offer customized lawn care programs tailored to either cool season or warm season grass, including fertilizer and weed and insect control. We treat all types of grass for nearly all types of conditions. We can diagnose and treat most disease early to protect your landscape. For residential and commercial lawn service in Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle, visit Protex Spraying Service online at ProtexSpraying.com. A home is more than just a house. And an office is more than just a place to work. Service Master is here to offer home and business services when you need them most. Coast to coast, we do it all for you. Service Master, the complete customer experience. When disaster strikes, count on our nationwide network of restoration specialists. Visit us online or call 1-800-RESPOND. And right back to action is the storm after the touchdown kicking off and uh, Rapid City Marshals fielding the ball down inside the uh, 10 yard line. So that's where they'll start this uh, offensive drive at the six yard line to be more exact. First down and 10. Mark Timberlake, head coach of Southwest Kansas. Storm has said he looked for more consistency, a little more rhythm in his offense. How about this? They've scored a, every time they had the football tonight. Three possessions, three touchdowns. As the Marshals, oh, good defense there. As the Storm bringing the big wall cloud right there at the line of scrimmage. As Olsen, the running back, Connor Olsen, goes down, loss of one on the play, second down 11 now, as there was nothing there for him. All kinds of storm defensive linemen, the entire defensive line nearly in on the play. I think that was uh, Rennell Lewis. We talked about him, the former Oklahoma Sooner, leading the charge. And Martinez able to dump it off and gets it away to his receiver, Connor Olson. Olson crosses the 10 yard line in good pressure from that defense. Look at big number 99, Sidney Jones getting in there, but not sure that was set up as a screen or not, but it kind of came out that way as he got it over the uh, offensive line or the defensive lineman. So it's third down and four, the ball at the 12 yard line. In over center, not out of the shotgun. Pass complete at the 14 yard line. And boy, more. Uh, and again, that's Draco Statham with a big, big hit. Southwest Kansas. Let's see where they mark that ball. I think they're going to mark it around the 14 yard line. It's going to bring up fourth down and one. They'll say at the 15. Fourth and one. So big play here for both teams. Storm, they'd love to get the ball back deep in. Rapid City territory once again. In Rapid City. Deontay Dudley, their head coach. 325 clock running left to go in the first half. Martinez over center. He's in trouble. He throws it. It's nearly picked off. And how about the storm? They're going to get the football back on downs. And again, getting pressure on that quarterback. Forcing Martinez to make rush that pass. Let's watch it again. As coming up from the backfield, defensive backfield that time was Caleb Wright. Right, right in the face of the quarterback. Ball nearly picked off by Antoine Hadley. And now the storm will have it first down and 10 at the Rapid City 15 yard line. Up 22 to 6 in this game. The defense, we talked about the offense finding some rhythm. Being consistent, certainly the storm has done that tonight. Quarterback Giovanni Sanders leading the charge, but the defense has really set this offense up. It's really set the tone in this football game for the Southwest Kansas Storm. 
Giovanni Sanders. Getting everybody organized here on offense. Once again, first down and 10. Ball at the 15 yard line of Rapid City. After the storm, stop the Marshals again on down. Second time that's happened here in the first half. Sanders looking to throw, still looking, still. Now he's going to run as he goes sideways, and he is brought down for a loss on the play. Maybe too much dancing around that time. It's Corey Henry, the defensive lineman, number one. Comes up with a tackle. Watch it again, Sanders. Thought he's going to throw right there. And then here's Henry with a terrific tackle bringing him down. Hands on the waist. So we're nearing the two minute mark here in the first half. 22 to 6, storm on top. In the crowds for the uh, storm games, first two games, terrific. Nearing around 2,800 each game. And Play another decent crowd tonight. Sanders got his man in the end zone for the touchdown. Vaughn Van Dame, one of the best names in football. Going high up against that wall in the end zone and makes the catch. Vaughn Van Dame, 15 yard touchdown pass from Giovanni Sanders. First time they scored on a touchdown pass in this game. That makes it 28 to 6. Von Van Dame, how about that? Six foot, 205 pound wide receiver from Southwestern College. Dylan Burkhart back in to try the extra point for Southwest Kansas. And it's going to be a bad snap. This has been an issue as Zuri Davis picks it up, but he throws it for the two point conversion. And he hits the big lineman, Ashton McKenzie. Now, is that going to be allowed? Let's see. We got flags flying here. They're discussing it. Ashton, man, come on, man. I got it. I caught it. <laughs> 28 to 6 is the score after that. Uh, let's see if the uh, two point conversion will be added here. Or, I think it is. No foul, no flag on the play. And so it is a two point conversion and that makes it 30 to six. How about Ashton McKenzie, the offensive lineman and Zuri Davis picking it up. And here's the touchdown once again as Sanders finding Van Dame in the corner of the end zone going up over the wall. Bunch out the little guy there in the front row. 30 to six, storm on top. your posse and head for Boot Hill Museum this summer. Celebrate the history of Dodge City by exploring the brand new world-class interactive museum exhibits. Feel the rumble of a buffalo stampede. Have a conversation with the spirits of Dodge. Learn and relive the legend of Dodge City. Join us every night for gunfights, country-style dinner, and variety show. Who would smuggle a beer across state lines? Someone with a taste for Coors Banquet. It's been stolen, smuggled, and sought after since 1873. Still only brewed in Golden, Colorado. Well, it's been all storm tonight in Dodge City, Southwest Kansas Storm, leading the Rapid City Marshals 30 to 6. Minute 51 left to go in the first half of play. And again, the defense has been terrific, really setting the tone for the storm in this football game. Now, the offense has capitalized on that uh, defensive performance, scoring on all four of its possessions tonight. And now leading 30 to 6 over Rapid City. Once again, the storm, perfect 2 0 on the year on their home field at United Wireless Arena trying to make that three and oh. Yes, apparently we 
They have something on the field here they're going to clean up. Looks like some actual blood there right on the goal line. It's a rough game out there. So we'll break in the action. Once again, the storm will be back. We'll be back home at the United Wireless Arena next Saturday night against the Topeka Traffics. They won their previous home games against the Arlington Longhorns to start the season. That was a non league game. And then they defeated the Wyoming Mustangs 43 42 back on March 19th. That was their last home game before tonight. A couple of road games sandwiched in between, including last week's 65 to 20 loss up in Billings, Montana against the Outlaws. But bouncing back tonight, looking pretty good. Storm on top 30 to 6. Rabbit City Marshals making the nine and a half hour drive down from South Dakota. As Dylan Burke once again will be kicking off. And once again, it'll be the squib and the high bouncer fielded at the eight yard line. And that is Macon again. And check that out. That's not Macon. That's number, not number 13. That's number three, Demetrius Davis. And Davis brought down. By Statham. And it will be Rapid City's football. First down and 10, the ball on the 19 yard line. Again, it's been the defense that set the tone in this game for the Storm. Got an interception, and they've also stopped Rapid City twice on downs, which is huge in arena football. That's usually it's, it's four downs. And the pass a little dump over the right side and cross midfield is that is Connor Olson taking it out of the backfield. In the storm defense getting great pressure on the quarterback tonight. And now we're going to have the one minute warning one minute warning here at United Wireless Arena in Dodge City Southwest Kansas Storm at home. Leading 30 to 6. DC3 has it all. From in person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life. ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. I made dinner. We got McDonald's. Dad didn't cook. Thanks, honey. Be back now. Yes. Yum. There's a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries. And back at United Wireless, well, back at United Wireless Arena in Dodge City, Southwest Kansas Storm leading the Rapid City Marshals 30 to six after the one-minute warning. We're getting ready to go back to action. Second down and four for the uh, Marshals. The ball at midfield. That's the 25-yard line in indoor football. And another sack. More pressure coming up the middle. And how about that big number 99, Sidney Jones, 6'2", 305 pounds. As we mentioned earlier, from South Connecticut State University. One thing in arena football, there's a hold off as well that wasn't called. Somebody grabbed him from behind. An offensive lineman there. That was John Lancaster. 
Grabbing his shirt from behind. No flag on the play after the big loss anyway. It probably been declined. So they're down at 12, but moves the ball back to the 17. And throwing deep as he's hit. And no, oh, it's caught in the back of the end zone for the touchdown behind the defenders. I think that ball may have been tipped. Oh my, what a break. Demetrius Davis comes down with the touchdown. As we see Martinez throwing, looked like he about got hit. That ball just barely off the hands of Antoine Hadley and into the hands of Demetrius Davis for the touchdown, Rapid City. Wow. As you heard, that's 42 yards on the pass play, but they're going for the two point conversion and it makes it 30 to 12. Everybody in motion that right side and now the pass and good uh, pressure again on the quarterback forcing that throw to be a little short ball into the uh, sink seats. And the Dodge City A's fan gets a uh, souvenir. 30 to 12 storm on top 15 seconds left to go in the first half we're back after this. For 150 years Dodge City has provided 150 years of adventure. 150 years of excitement. 150 years of culture. Make some history. Celebrate with us. 150 years of Dodge City. The West is just the beginning. All right, man, what do you want to watch? Football or football? Let's go with football. Football it is. Feel kind of dirty watching another team. He'll get over it. Turn it up. And after a 42 yard touchdown pass, Demetrius Davis on the receiving end for the Rapid City Marshals. It cuts the Southwest Kansas Storm lead to 30 to 12. And the Marshals will be kicking off. It's a two point conversion failed. And again, it's Melissa Strother, the kicker. She is again the kicker for the Rapid City Marshals. 13 years played women's professional football, trying out the new challenge she wanted to. And Zuri Davis will be returning the ball and takes it across midfield as the clock stops with 11 seconds left. So, certainly, time and distance enough for the storm to get something uh, done here. They can get the ball in the end zone for a touchdown or perhaps even a field goal if need be. As the ball will be at the 24 yard line just across midfield. There's Zuri Davis who has caught a touchdown or caught the long pass to set up a touchdown in this game. One of the rare uh, Giovanni Sanders deep throws as the Storm are primarily have kept the ball on the ground. But Sanders, let's see what he does here with just 11 seconds. I would assume he's going to throw the ball. As he sends his receivers left and right, and Sanders going to throw into the end zone and throws it out, way out of the end zone, up against the wall. <laughs> and uh, we'll bring up second down and 10. <laughs> Mark Timberlake, head coach. Six seconds left. Mark's a big Oklahoma Sooner fan. He's an Oklahoma native and pretty much he was born in Kansas City, but he grew up in Oklahoma where he's a longtime coach and said he really caught the football bug when he was a little kid back in, I think it was 1985. He went to uh, see the Oklahoma Sooners play Oklahoma State, the Bedlam game in Stillwater. It was the ice storm that day and he froze, but he loved the game so much and became a huge Sooner fan after that. And now a timeout. In fact, he told me when uh, he was in the third grade at a school project, all the uh, students were asked to uh, write to a role model. Some wrote to the president, other, other politicians, actors. He wrote a letter to Brian Bosworth. <laughs> so, and he has been a football guy pretty much ever since. Mark Timberlake, the head coach. 
of the Southwest Kansas Storm after that uh, little timeout there. And we still have the timeout. Yes, the defense of the Rapid City Marshals. <laughs> Brandon Vinson, big smile on his face back out there. In the offensive coordinator for Southwest Kansas. Once again, 30 to 12, Southwest Kansas with the football. 18 point advantage, six seconds left, and they're going to try to get one into the end zone here for the touchdown. Giovanni Sanders. He's going to throw it and it is in the crowd and knocked out of the back of the end zone and that will be the end of the first half of play. Southwest Kansas Storm first time they have not scored on an offensive possession just ran out of time this time. 30 to 12 is our halftime score of the storm on top of the Rapid City Marshals. Tony Belonovich here with another reason not to eat the Jimmy's Johns. These tryhards fresh bake their bread all day. Sandwich bread don't come fresh. It comes from a truck from out of state. Baked once a week at exactly none your business. So Jimmy's Johns, enough with the fresh baked nonsense. Stevie, in front of my bread like product. Tony, you're dead to me! Jimmy Johns, the sandwich of sandwiches. Protex Spraying Service is well known throughout Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle for professional lawn care services. We offer customized lawn care programs tailored to either cool season or warm season grass, including fertilizer and weed and insect control. We treat all types of grass for nearly all types of conditions. We can diagnose and treat most disease early to protect your landscape. For residential and commercial lawn service in Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle, visit Protex Spraying Service online at ProtexSpraying.com. A home is more than just a house. And an office is more than just a place to work. Service Master is here to offer home and business services when you need them most. Coast to coast, we do it all for you. Service Master, the complete customer experience. When disaster strikes, count on our nationwide network of restoration specialists. Visit us online or call 1-800-RESPOND. up your posse and head for Boot Hill Museum this summer. Celebrate the history of Dodge City by exploring the brand new world-class interactive museum exhibits. Feel the rumble of a buffalo stampede. Have a conversation with the spirits of Dodge. Learn and relive the legend of Dodge City. Join us every night for gunfights, country-style dinner, and variety show. Who would smuggle a beer across state lines? Someone with a taste for Coors Banquet. It's been stolen, smuggled, and sought after since 1873. Still only brewed in Golden, Colorado. DC3 has it all. From in-person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life. ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. I made dinner. We got Yum. 
there's a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries. For 150 years, Dodge City has provided 150 years of adventure. 150 years of excitement. 150 years of culture. Make some history. Celebrate with us. 150 years of Dodge City. The West is just the beginning. All right, man, what do you want to watch? Football or football? Let's go with football. Football it is. Feel kind of dirty watching another team. He'll get over it. Turn it up. It is halftime in Dodge City at United Wireless Arena where the Southwest Kansas Storm hold a 30 to 12 advantage at halftime over the Rapid City Rapids. The Storm really setting the tone as we mentioned several times with its defense as Rapid City started the game on offense took the opening kickoff and then turned the ball over when Keontae Griffin came up with an interception off a tip pass at the line of scrimmage. And there the Storm took advantage of a great field position. As uh, Gio Giovanni Sanders, the quarterback, here's the interception. Ball again tipped there, and Keontae Griffin picked it up. Uh, but Gio Giovanni Sanders took it in for the touchdown, a touchdown run from the Southwest Kansas Storm quarterback. Two point conversion was good, and that made it eight to nothing in the first quarter of play. Then in the uh, second quarter, George Moriena capped off uh, another drive after the. Uh, Storm got the ball on deep in Rapid City uh, territory after getting the ball over on downs. They did that twice, the defense did, and that made it 15 to nothing. Now, Rapid City did come back with a touchdown as uh, Lakeem Christmas caught that eight yard touchdown pass, made it 15 to six. Then Torrance Young Carr ran one in for the Storm, make it 22 to six. Giovanni Sanders finding Von Van Dame in the right up against the wall there in the end zone. That made it 30 to six with the extra point. And they're actually a two point conversion. And then that Demetrius Davis somehow sneaking behind the defense. The ball was tipped and he still caught it. And that is where we stand at halftime. Southwest Kansas Storm leading 30 to 12. At United Wireless Arena in Dodge City, where they have not lost a game this season, trying to make it perfect with a win tonight. One more half of football still to come. We're back after this. ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. I made dinner. We got McDonald's. Dad didn't cook. Thanks, honey. Be my right now. Yes. There's a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries. For 150 years, Dodge City has provided 150 years of adventure. 150 years of excitement. 150 years of culture. Make some history. Celebrate with us. 
150 years of Dodge City, the West is just the beginning. All right, man, what do you want to watch? Football or football? Let's go with football. Football it is. Feel kind of dirty watching another team. He'll get over it. Turn it up. Tony Belonovich here with another reason not to eat the Jimmy's Johns. His tryhards fresh baked their bread all day. Sandwich bread don't come fresh. It comes from a truck from out of state. Baked once a week and exactly none your business. So Jimmy's Johns, enough with the fresh baked nonsense. Stevie, in front of my bread like product? Tony. You're dead to me! Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. Protex Spraying Service is well known throughout Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle for professional lawn care services. We offer customized lawn care programs tailored to either cool season or warm season grass, including fertilizer and weed and insect control. We treat all types of grass for nearly all types of conditions. We can diagnose and treat most disease early to protect your landscape. For residential and commercial lawn service in Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle, visit Protex Spraying Service online at ProtexSpraying.com. And they're picking up a bunch of tennis balls here at the uh, United Wireless Arena as part of another uh, promotion. A lot of fun going on with the fans at in Dodge City at United Wireless Arena. It's Southwest Kansas Storm leading the Rapid City Marshals 30 to 12 at the half. And again, it's been a good first half, obviously, for the Storm on top by 18. Great defense with an offense that's complementing that uh, defensive attack very well. Can they keep it up in the second half? We shall find out. It, it, again, halftime, 30 to 12, storm on top. Back with more football after this. A home is more than just a house. And an office is more than just a place to work. Service Master is here to offer home and business services when you need them most. Coast to coast, we do it all for you. Service Master, the complete customer experience. When disaster strikes, count on our nationwide network of restoration specialists. Visit us online or call 1 800 Respond. your posse and head for Boot Hill Museum this summer. Celebrate the history of Dodge City by exploring the brand new world-class interactive museum exhibits. Feel the rumble of a buffalo stampede. Have a conversation with the spirits of Dodge. Learn and relive the legend of Dodge City. Join us every night for gunfights, country-style dinner, and variety show. Who would smuggle a beer across state lines? Someone with a taste for Coors Banquet. It's been stolen, smuggled, and sought after since 1873. Still only brewed in Golden, Colorado. DC3 has it all. From in-person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life. ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. I made dinner! We got There's 
is a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries. For 150 years, Dodge City has provided 150 years of adventure. 150 years of excitement. 150 years of culture. Make some history. Celebrate with us. 150 years of Dodge City. The West is just the beginning. And yeah, back at United Wireless Arena with the crowd enjoying the halftime festivities, getting ready for a second half action as their Southwest Kansas Storm up 30 to 12 on the Rapid City Marshals. <laughs> Those three guys are having a good time. And again, it looks like somebody got a souvenir. Once the ball goes in the stands, you get to keep that ball. Once again, the storm out to a having a terrific first half of play, but the defense coming up an interception. And then two times to get the ball back on downs, and they took advantage all three of those times. Scoring touchdowns, four touchdowns in this game, three on the ground, and oh, one pass uh, from Giov Giovanni Sanders to Von Van Dame for the uh, TD. Is we're about a minute away from the opening uh, kickoff of the second half. Fans can also see themselves on the big uh, video board there at United Wireless Arena. They always seem to get a kick out of that. There you are. Uh, maybe he didn't get a big kick out of it, <laughs> but. Uh, Again, they'll be kicking off as they won the uh, opening coin toss and elected to defer. So, actually, it'll be uh, the uh, Marshalls kicking off to start the second half. So, the uh, Storm will get the ball back on offense. That was the whole design of uh, deferring. <laughs> um, but they'll see if they get another opportunity to get on the board very quickly in the third quarter. In the uh, Storm coming in this game, two and two on the season. In the league, in the uh, Champions Indoor Football League, the CIF. Had losses on the road at uh, Omaha and last week at Billings. One against Wyoming at home and one at Topeka. Topeka Tropics coming to United Wireless Arena next Saturday night. Overall, the Storm 3 and 2 on the season as they did win a non league game to start the season back in early March. Against the Arlington Longhorns. Once again, the, the Rapid City Marshals, their kicker, Melissa Strother, will be kicking out from her own goal line to start the second half of action. If you missed the story about her early, and we talked about her in the first half, young lady from San Diego, California, she's played 13 years of, played 13 years of women's professional football and decided. She needed another challenge. She wanted to play uh, in a men's league. Made the long drive from San Diego to all the way to Rapid City. Made the team, and here she is, the kicker. Said she drove in a blizzard all the way to Rapid City. She was nervous about making the team, her performance, and then how she would be uh, received by the fans. But she said it's been a terrific experience so far. Fans have uh, really welcomed her uh, to the team as she. Puts the line drive, squib up the far sideline, and Zuri Davis will re take it there, and he's still bouncing around, and finally going to be brought down around the 14, 15 yard line, and that's where the Storm will set up shot for their first possession here to start the second half of play. Again, both kickers tonight, Dylan Burkhart for Southwest Kansas. They've been doing the squib kicks. Once again, you can kick deep, but if you go out of the back of the end zone on the fly or out of bounds anywhere without hitting the field. The receiving team gets a, the touchback at midfield which is 25 yard line so. The script kick is a better way to go. 
And it has worked out. Now the 15 yard line is where their own 15 yard lines where the storm will start. Giovanni Sanders he's been terrific tonight just running the show. Not doing too much running the ball and now he's going to throw and he's got his man across the 20 into Rapid City territory. Zuri Davis with the catch. And just like that I, I talk about Gio Giovanni Sanders not having to do too much at least throwing the football they've been keeping it on the ground but first play of the second half. He gets it to Zuri Davis and Davis gets his hands under the ball that is a completion. So the ball down on the 20 yard line in Rapid City territory first down and 10 for the storm. And Giovanni Sanders taking over as the full time starting quarterback now with Jared Hurd no longer on the team. And he uh, is in Frisco Texas as George Moriena. Nice little run big hole up the middle as he crosses inside the 10 yard line. That's going to bring up first down and goal to go and the storm making it look easy here. First two plays from the 15 all the way down to the six yard line where it will be first and goal to go start the second half. And Jared Hurd he had a try out of the Canadian Football League and then signed with the Frisco Freighter Freighters. And here's the Pit, the pass and touchdown. How about that? That was quick. Torrance, young car. Six yard touchdown from Sanders to Torrance, young car. His second TD of the night. Ran one in. Now he catches one. Sanders' second touchdown pass and 36 to 12. The extra point coming up. A little play action there and just a quick out to Torrance, car, young. and Three plays on that drive from the 15 yard line. That's a 40 yard drive and quickly the storm on the board in the second half as Dillard, Dylan Burkhardt back in to try the extra point and it is up and it is good. 37 12. What a start for the storm here in the second half. Strike one. We're back after this. All right, man, what do you want to watch? Football or football? Let's go with football. Football it is. Feel kind of dirty watching another team. You'll get over it. Turn it up. Well, 40 yard drive, just three plays with the storm, and they're on the board just like that. Giovanni Sanders, a six yard touchdown pass to Torrance Carr Young. Extra point is good. It's 37 to 12. Storm back on top by 25, and this has been a very efficient offense tonight. And they've scored every time they had the football except once, and that was at the end of the first half when they got the ball with just 15 seconds left. So they ran out of time there. But again, Dylan Burkhardt will kick off from his own goal line. You know, we talked about the rules governing uh, the kickoffs. You also, though, can kick it through the goalpost for an Uno for one point. Oh, they're going to go for an onside kick, and they get it. Oh, my. What a beautiful play. Ethan Williams comes up with it for the storm. Mark Timberlake pulling one out of the back pocket there. An onside kick after the touchdown. And it was perfectly executed by Dylan Burkhardt, the kicker, and then picked up. And it will be storm football. First down and their own 12 yard line. So the storm start off on offense in the second half will be on offense again. Their second consecutive possession after the onside kick. So here we go. He's had three plays, took just three plays to go from the 15 the last time, scored the touchdown. 
See what Giovanni Giovanni Sanders can do here. Storm looking to put this one away quickly. And now we're going to have flags and whistles and everything before the. I think we may have a false start. Yes, indeed. And that's going to be on Ben Hughes, who you may have seen the uh, referee there, Matt Mount, smile because Ben Hughes raised his hand. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I moved too early. So that'll move it back five yards and be first down at 15 at the 10 yard line. Thirty seven twelve storm just scored if you just joined us on their first possession on a three play 40 yard drive. Now they've got the ball back after an onside kick. Giovanni Sanders throwing over the middle and he overthrows everybody incomplete numbering up second down and 15. Sanders did not look. Real confident in that uh, situation. Did not really have anybody open and overthrew everybody. And incomplete. Again, they got the ball back after the onside kick. And I uh, thought we were going to look at it again here. Nope. <laughs> no onside kick there to see, but uh, we. You, we did see it live, so it was perfectly executed. And the Storm had the ball back. Can they take advantage now? In second down and 15, play action. Sanders throwing. Oh, throws behind his intended receiver, incomplete. And that ball into the uh, seats in the front row with the uh, young man with the souvenir. As there's Zuri Davis, was the intended receiver. So that brings up third down and 15. Storm kind of sputtering a little bit here on the last couple of plays. Getting going to the air more than they perhaps have, uh, are accustomed to, at least in this football game. They've been running the ball more. So what jo Giovanni Sanders does here, he's been terrific running the football. Tucking it in and going downfield. Let's see. He's got his receivers in motion. Sanders, yeah, he's going to keep it. Crosses the 15 20. He's got the first down. Crosses midfield into Rapid City territory down to the 19 yard line. That's a play that will work. Sanders just taking it up the middle. Yes, first down and much, much more for the storm. May have been a design play. Really didn't even look for anybody. Just tucked it in and saw all that turf in front of him and takes it down in the Rapid City territory where he's finally brought down by defensive back Devante Tinsley. So first down to 10, the ball at the Rapid City 24 yard line. And again, Sanders running the football seems to be the most effective play for this offense, even though he's had a couple of big throws. Hands off to George Moriana. Moriana coming around this left end, bouncing, dancing down near the 10. And as you perhaps have saw there, the yellow flag comes flying out. And we have a penalty on the play. Let's see who that will be assessed against. George Moriana, Moriana, he has been a terrific player. And we're going to have a holding. Holding against the Storms, that's going to bring it back. It'll be a 10 yard penalty, and that'll bring uh, first down and. That's from the uh, spot of the foul. The, Spot of the foul or the foul was at the uh, where the uh, play ended there, so it's going to be first down at 15, and the ball still will be at the 24. So we'll play action zone read perhaps, and now uh, Giovanni Sanders pick up about two yards on the play. That time the uh, Rapid City defense containing the quarterback and a little. Tucking it in after the fake handoff and then yeah, pick up a yard on the play. Second down and 13, make a two yard gain. And the ball moves to the 22. Braden Vincent, Brandon Vincent, the offensive coordinator, tucking it over if his quarterback getting the play in. And the offensive coaches can be on the field. 
Under eight minutes to play here in the third quarter. Storm have already scored a touchdown, trying for another. Oriana in trouble on that right side, dancing again and brought down just shy of the 20 yard line, and I'll bring up third down for the Storm. Thirty seven to twelve the storm on top of Rapid City. In the storm have scored on every possession possession except one and that one they did not. They got the ball with 15 seconds left in the first half just ran out of time so. And they've had their opportunity for a full possession they've taken advantage. And out of the shotgun, Sanders going to throw into the end zone up for grabs and Torrance young car going up high trying to make a one yard or one handed catch over the defenders and over the wall and it's incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth and 11 ball at the 20 yard line. See the storm will go for it. I would expect they will or try it for a field goal, but there it is. Boy. Torrance uh, young car doing a nice job of getting a hand on that ball as it was just thrown up for grabs. There's Torrance. He's got two touchdowns in this game. He's ran for a touchdown and he caught a touchdown. And Dylan Burkhart is indeed into the game to try for the uh, field goal. So he'll be kicking it from his own. As the kick is up and it is good. That is a 35 yard field goal. As it is right on target for Dylan Burkhart. And the Southwest Kansas Storm have scored 10 unanswered points to start this second half and now lead 40 to 12 with 6.04 left to go in the third quarter. Hey, we got the dance cam coming up now at United Wireless Arena. Football. Enjoy this though first. And back to football after that uh, dance cam, the enthusiastic fan fans here at United Wireless Arena tonight. And Dylan Burkhart's kickoff goes out of bounds on the far sideline. So Rapid City Marshals, their first offensive possession finally coming with just 602 left in the third quarter. They'll get the ball at midfield at the 25 yard line as the storm storming out to a uh, 40 to 12 lead in the second half. 10 unanswered points. They scored on their first offensive possession. They received the opening kickoff the second half. Scored on a three play 40 yard drive. Then they did an onside kick and capitalized with a 35 yard field goal from Dylan Burkhart. And now Rapid City finally on offense for the first time in the second half. And just like that, they turned the ball over. 
interception. Antoine Hadley, Hadley all the way back to the 15, down deep inside Rapid City territory. And this one is really getting away from Rapid City as the Storm will have another offensive possession here in the third quarter after Antoine Hadley. That ball just thrown up for grabs, really, as Hadley not even that ball not even close to the intended receiver and Hadley right there to make the catch and then bringing it all the way back down to the 12 yard line of Rapid City before he's finally pushed into the wall and Giovanni Sanders will be back out there quarterback. The last time we saw the storm at home it was a back and forth close game against Wyoming. Remember they won up a touchdown pass with just eight seconds to go the go ahead. In fact, it was Giovanni Sanders who caught that touchdown pass <laughs> to win that game when Jared Hurd was the quarterback. And now though this is completely a different game as they are leading 40 to 12 and George Moriana fights his way down near the one yard line over there on the far sideline up against the wall. Four and a half minutes to go the clock running. Just a little pitch out to that right side and Moriana following the big block. Right in front of him was Dominic Logan. Good to see Logan back in there. He was hurt earlier in the game, number 77. First down and goal to go from the one yard line. Again, a week ago, Storm lost up at Billings, Montana by the score of 65 to 20. Really trying to turn the tables and win big tonight over Rapid City as they have a chance to add to their total, their advantage here. Sanders throws into the end zone. He's got the big offensive lineman. How about that? We're just talking about it. Dominic Logan, he had the big block. Now he's got the catch. Touchdown, as he was eligible on the play. Dominic Logan with a touchdown pass. How about that? Six foot six, 315 pounds. You can't miss him. And he did. Threw right to him, right there at the goal line. And they're not going to bring him down. Young man out of Northwestern Oklahoma State, and that is another touchdown. And it has been a huge third quarter for the Storm. Dylan Burkhardt comes back in. Trying for the extra point. Except for a bot snap. He's been perfect tonight, and he still is perfect. What's he going to do here? Little baseball action this time. Yeah, that ball's out of the park. 47 12, storm on top. 304 left to go in the third. your posse and head for Boot Hill Museum this summer. Celebrate the history of Dodge City by exploring the brand new world-class interactive museum exhibits. Feel the rumble of a buffalo stampede. Have a conversation with the spirits of Dodge. Learn and relive the legend of Dodge City. Join us every night for gunfights, country-style dinner, and variety show. Who would smuggle a beer across state lines? Someone with a taste for Coors Banquet. It's been stolen, smuggled, and sought after since 1873. Still only brewed in Golden, Colorado. DC3 has it all. From in-person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life.
Southwest Kansas Storm have scored 17 points here in the third quarter, 17 unanswered points. They go up 47 to 12 on the Rapid City Marshals, and what a second half it has been for the Storm. Again, took the kickoff after the kickoff to start the second half. They went three plays, 40 yards in three plays, scored the touchdown, got an onside kick, capitalized on the onside kick with a field goal, and then Got the ball right back. One play, one play from Rapid City here in the second half so far on offense, and that was an interception. The Storm capitalized on that with the uh, touchdown to go up 47 to 12. And here's the kickoff, and it's going to be taken inside the five and brought out to the 17-yard uh, line. Demetrius Davis, one of the top offensive players for this Rapid City team. Again, Rapid City. The well, Marshals with just one offensive play from the line of scrimmage here in the second half so far, and that was an interception. It was Antoine Hadley who was the one that came up with that interception to set up that last touchdown. Here we go again. See if that defense can come up big. Connor Olson will take the handoff, goes that left side. Not much there. Pick up a couple yards on the play. will bring up second down. As about 215 clock running left to go here in the third quarter. Again, 17 points in the third quarter for the uh, storm to go up 47 to 12. To led 30 to 12 at halftime. They've been getting good pressure on the quarterback and doing it again, and now he gets it away. And I think that was incomplete. Yeah, Olson, the intended receiver, and that ring up third down and eight. And the ball remaining at the 19-yard line. It has just been a struggle for this Rapid City team here in the second half. They just haven't had any opportunities. Stormer really played keep away on offense, and now it's hopefully they're hoping their defense can do a little more on their side of the ball. Their defense hadn't been on the field very much, only facing four plays in this second half. And pass over the middle, and that's going to be caught across midfield as Travion Bryant comes up with the tackle. And that's going to be short of the first down as Travion Bryant doing a terrific job bringing down Demetrius Davis right after the catch. Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. So it's now they are going to say it's first down and 10. First and 10 at the 23 yard line. Nope, it's back to fourth and one. <laughs> fourth down and one. And the ball will be at the 24 yard line. So fourth and one, and now a timeout. Timeout. Rapid City did not like what they saw and quickly getting up the line of scrimmage and calling the timeout with 38 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And the Southwest Kansas Storm leading 47 to 12. They have just really been terrific here in the second half. And 17 unanswered points. Marshalls didn't touch the football on offense until 6.02 left in the third quarter. And the only play, the first play they had, they threw an interception. This is their, by far, their longest uh, offensive possession in the second half. But the uh, Storm trying to get the ball back over on downs. They've done that twice tonight. That was in the first half. Always big when you get the ball back on on downs in arena football as you get four opportunities. So it'll be fourth down and one. There's Mark Timberlake. He's really got to like the way his team has played. Bounce back from the big loss, bad loss at Billings. Still a lot of football to be played though in this game. Keep the defensive pressure up. And it's going to be a quarterback sneak and it's going to be a first down for Rapid City. Austin McKenzie. In on the stop. McKenzie, by the way, you might remember he caught that two point conversion. Been a big night offensively for the uh, lineman. McKenzie caught a two point conversion after a bad snap, and Zuri Davis, the holder, picked it up and threw it to him. He was pretty happy about that. And then, of course, Dominic Logan actually caught a touchdown pass in the last possession, a one yard touchdown pass. 
as we are about ready to see the third quarter come to its conclusion and that will be the end of a terrific third quarter for the Southwest Kansas Storm 17 unanswered points storm up 47 to 12 back with the start of the fourth quarter right after this. ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. I made dinner. We got McDonald's. Dad didn't cook. Thanks, honey. Be right now. Yes. Okay. Yum. There's a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries. For 150 years, Dodge City has provided 150 years of adventure. 150 years of excitement. 150 years of culture. Make some history. Celebrate with us. 150 years of Dodge City. The West is just the beginning. And the start of the fourth quarter from United Wireless Arena in Dodge City. CIF football champions indoor football as it's the Southwest Kansas Storm looking to stay perfect at home this season. This is the third game at the beautiful United Wireless Arena leading 47 to 12 as we start the fourth quarter and it will be the Rapid City Marshals first down and 10 at the Southwest Kansas 22 yard line in a bad snap and Quarterback, so he's going to get rid of it. Gets it out to Macon. Nice effort there, and uh, it's going to be a big loss on the play, but able to avoid the turnover, able to avoid the sack as the snap was bobbled, and then coming in there on the uh, defense and is uh, Caleb Wright, and but he was able to get the ball out to Macon. And that brings up second down and 14. Loss of four on the play. So that was Levon. Levon make it. Now more pressure. And the pass into the end. Someone's going to be picked off. Another interception for Southwest Kansas. How about Travion Bryant right there going up high and making the catch. And I think he's got a pin. He's got a pin. He's going to autograph that football. He's going to give it to somebody. He had a pin. In his jersey, he was ready for this. Travion Bryant, that's confidence. Brought a Sharpie to the game. And there it is. Gives it to the young man. The glass is there, and Travion Bryant autographs the football immediately after he intercepts it. After the interception. How about that? Here it is again. It's just kind of another throw up for grabs at the goal line, and he steps in front. Of the intended receiver making and right away there you see it reaching for the pin. And now once again they storm with the ball on offense after another turnover as we are just underway of fourth quarter action. Giovanni Sanders out of his own end zone. He's gonna dump it off to his running back on the far sideline. That's George Moriana. Moriana breaking tackles down that far sideline. Crosses into Rapid City territory where he's finally brought down. A little dance, a little power all in one play there for the Southwest Kansas Storm. As we look at it again, Sanders just dumping it off to number 12. And finally, brought down by Antoine Smith and Smith looked like he was pain after that one caught his right hand on something but that's first down and 10 ball now down at the Rapid City 17 
So the storm of another opportunity to get on the board. Once again, they've scored every offensive possession but once. Here's the pass into the end zone. Oh, this time it's going to be picked up. Sanders making a mistake there. Zuri Davis is the intended receiver, and he threw it right into the hands of the defensive back for Rapid City, Devante Tinsley. Tinsley right in front of the intended receiver. So a rare mistake there for Giovanni Sanders in this football game. Just threw that one up to Davis. Not enough. Davis can go up high and catch it. We know that, but Ball underthrown a little bit, so Rapid City, they needed that. They come up with the interception, and they'll have the ball on their own five yard line after the interception in the end zone. And the Rapid City Marshals on offense have not done much. Two interceptions, and they turned the ball over on downs here in the second half. Storm trying to put that pressure on the quarterback, and uh, they do. As Caleb Wright comes up with the uh, shoestring tackle there, maybe a pickup of a yard on the play, two yards. I bring up second down for the Rapid City Marshals. There you see Caleb Wright, number 23, coming in with a nice tackle. Ball moves up to the seven yard line. Play action this time and the throw over to the right side, and that will be a pickup of about five yards on the play before the receiver is knocked out of bounds. That's uh, Jasonis Tillery, the wide receiver, number 88, right there in front of the fans. So it's third down at four at the 11 yard line. Crowd getting into it a little bit here. And that defense again going. Another quick pass out to the near sideline and honestly don't know if he caught that. He did not see a signal. He did not. So it'll be fourth down. Fourth down and four. Tillery again, the intended receiver. He caught that pass. A couple plays ago on the other side. The so fourth down and four. Another opportunity for the Storm defense to get the ball over on downs. A little more pressure, and we're going to have a sack and a fumble in the end zone, or was there a whistle? We may have a safety. Quarterback trying to get rid of the ball there in the grasp. I think we're going to have a safety on this one. Is Sidney Jones. Oh, they say he was down just short of the end zone. In the grass at the two yard line, but it's going to be Storm football. First and goal to go. Hmm. Let's see that one again. I don't think he was even touched until he got in the end zone. Yeah, maybe he was. But still, either way, it's going to be storm football, but they're marking it at the two yard line. No sack, no fumble, down at the two. But it is a sack, but not into the end zone. All right, Giovanni Sanders. See his coach right there in front of him, Mark Timberlake, at back of the end zone on the headset, directing uh, traffic. Now the Officials are going to discuss this. Something. Are they going to review this? I think they're coming over to look it over and see what exactly. Maybe not. Ah. Okay. They said his forward pro progress started at stopped at the two yard line, and that is not a challengeable. Play so no review. Man, 
Not much forward progress there. Now we got everybody moving. I think we're going to have a false start against the storm. Dominic Logan moving too quick. Again, last time they had the ball in this situation, Logan got a touchdown pass. Was he an intended receiver there and got a little eager? We don't know. Under nine to play as that ball will be moved back to the seven yard line now first and goal to go from there. So Giovanni Sanders actually a little more room to operate and see hands off to George Moriana and Moriana spinning his way for maybe a yard on the play and that brings up second down and goal to go. All storm here in the second half. George Moriana he is a tough runner. He's got some moves. He's got some uh, agility, but he's also runs with a little power when he wants to or needs to. Play call coming in with plenty of time left on the uh, play clock. 15 seconds and running. Nearing the eight minute mark left to go in this football game in the storm at home for the first time since March 19th. They'll be back home again next week. Next Saturday night at United Wireless Arena against the Topeka Tropics. Another one of the brand new teams in the CIF. Sanders, he's going to keep it himself. Sanders at the five yard line looking for a crease, gets near the goal line, and did he get in for the touchdown? And I believe he did. Touchdown, Giovanni Sanders. 53 to 12. The storm. Storming. Them away. I, I can't come up with something there. I'm trying. <laughs> not even a warning anymore. It's not even a watch for the storm. They're, they're just running away from this one. Extra point coming up. <laughs> Sanders with the uh, seven yard touchdown run, his second touchdown of the game. Third touchdown, I should say. And then, how about Dylan Burkhardt? He's been perfect. 54 to 12, and it's a strike right down the pipe. 54 to 12, more of the fourth quarter, more of this football game coming your way right after this. All right, man, what do you want to watch? Football or football? Let's go with football. Football it is. Feel kind of dirty watching another team. He'll get over it. Turn it up. Tony Belonovich here with another reason not to eat the Jimmy's Johns. These tryhards fresh baked their bread all day. Sandwich bread don't come fresh. It comes from a truck from out of state. Baked once a week and exactly none your business. So Jimmy's John's, enough with the fresh baked nonsense. Stevie, in front of my bread like product. Tony, get that to me! Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. And back at an enthusiastic United Wireless Arena in Dodd City with a Southwest Kansas Storm lead 54 to 12 and the fan of the game. There he is getting his trophy. Traveling trophy. They give a trophy out to a fan every game. I'm not sure what the criteria is, but he looks like he's pretty excited. So somebody's been keeping an eye on him. Number nine. The fan of the game. It's been a good one for the storm tonight. Big. 24 to nothing. They've outscored the Rapid City Marshals here in the second half. Marshals unable to get anything going on offense in the second half. Have not scored. A couple turnovers. Turned the ball over on downs the last time. Defense for the storm has been terrific. Offense has just complemented that defense. Perfectly. The fact that offense has really been the dominant force in the second half because they've had the ball so much and they've taken advantage of that. One turnover, one mistake. Giovanni Sanders to an interception into the end zone, but 
didn't hurt the team at all as they came back and got the ball and then scored again. Here's the line drive fielded by Demetrius Davis in the end zone and he brings it out and uh, he's stacked up there around the 12 yard line and actually that's Macon number 13 Demetrius Davis number three. Laval Macon. As the clock continues to run under seven minutes to go in this football game and storm on their way to the third victory in the league. Leading 54 to 12 be their fourth victory overall as again they won a non league game to start the season against the Arlington Longhorns that was way back in early March. Our first broadcast. Pass. Uh, Good coverage there again. Pass broken up. Keontae Griffin has got an interception this game, breaking it up. Colin Olson, Connor Olson, the intended receiver out of the backfield. Again, just good defense. Really good defense from the storm tonight. Those sweet teal uniforms trimmed in purple. Second down and 10. Ball to 20. Oh, here's a high snap into the end zone. Look at all this, everybody running over there. And we're going to have, what are we going to have here? Fumble in the end zone is recovered, it looks like, in the end zone by an offensive lineman for the Marshals, who is also shaken up a bit. And that's Jordan Lawrence. And that is going to be finally a safety. We don't see a lot of safeties. Some reason it seems like they're reluctant to call him, but that time there's no doubt about it when the offensive lineman recovers the ball as we see the high snap goes in the end zone. Look at all those guys scattering over there, all the ball boys. And is that ball, oh my, you know what? That might have been recovered outside the goal line. <laughs> now will they review this? That ball might have been on the one yard line when he got possession, but they're calling it a safety. Which would make it 56 to 12 and it does and let's see if there's any review here at all. I don't think there's going to be. But the uh, storm will get the ball back after the safety as well. What a night, what a night for the storm. What a second half it has been. 26 unanswered points. And Melissa Strother will come in to kick off again for her team. As after the safety, the storm get the ball back. Wow. 539 left to go in this game. A long ride back to Rapid City for the, the Marshals. Here's the bouncing kickoff. Fielded there at the 15 and then brought all the way down to the five inside the five yard line. Antoine Hadley. Hadley kind of a started off slow there and broke a tackle or two and took it, this exploded down the near sideline. And oh, the storm set up in great field possession again. Position again. Yeah, there's the nice maneuver there, breaking that tackle. As Antoine Smith trying to make it, bring him down, but Hadley doing a terrific job of getting away. And that ball will be down all the way to the five yard line. First down and goal to go. So Giovanni Sanders. What do they do here? I think we might hand it off to George Morian, number 12. Keep the ball on the ground. Let's see. Under five to go. Trying to put 60 up on the board. Now it's a, how about this? The direct snap to Morian. He bounces his way, spins his way into the touch, into the end zone for the touchdown. Storm up 62 to 12. A 50 point lead. Oh, baby. 
the direct snap to George Moriano. Look at that spin. And then just crunches his way between the two defenders into the end zone for the touchdown. Wow. Boy, this is all storm. It's coming down now. Dylan Burkhardt back in there to try again for the extra point. He's been perfect tonight, except for a botch snap that turned into a two point conversion, but he has not missed. And he still has, and I didn't jinx it. 63 to 12. He's going back to the golf swing. He's run out of things to do. That ball is perfect right on the green because the Southwest Kansas Storm are up 63 to 12. 402 left to go in this football game. We're back after this. Protex Spraying Service is well known throughout Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle for professional lawn care services. We offer customized lawn care programs tailored to either cool season or warm season grass, including fertilizer and weed and insect control. We treat all types of grass for nearly all types of conditions. We can diagnose and treat most disease early to protect your landscape. For residential and commercial lawn service in Southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma Panhandle, visit Protex Spraying Service online at protexspraying.com. A home is more than just a house. And an office is more than just a place to work. Service Master is here to offer home and business services when you need them most. Coast to coast, we do it all for you. Service Master, the complete customer experience. When disaster strikes, count on our nationwide network of restoration specialists. Visit us online or call 1 800 RESPOND. 17 points in the third quarter, 16 in the fourth quarter in the Southwest Kansas Storm. They have outscored Rapid City 33 to nothing here in the second half. Leading now 63 to 12, kicking off after that George Moriana five yard touchdown run. And Rapid City Marshals will have the ball on offense. First and, first and 10 on their own 18 yard line. Well, the storm, what a terrific second half it has been. As we see Macon again bring it out of the end zone, but just out to the quick touchdown to start the third quarter. Again, their opening drive of the second half, three plays, 40 yards. Then they kicked an onside kick. That just really turned the tide momentum wise, it seemed like, and got a field goal out of that. Then another touchdown. It's just been all storm. They're bringing it all. Lightning, hail, everything, and another, well, almost a sack gets away from it and maybe picked up a yard or two on the play. Defense has been terrific in this game. Hadn't had to do as much in the second half, but they've come up with a couple turnovers. The offense has just been efficient. Mark Timberlake got really what he wanted to get out of that offense tonight. A rhythm, consistency. Really started out running the ball a lot in this game and then started throwing a little more. And Giovanni Sanders had some success. He's only one, made one mistake that interception he threw in the uh, end zone, but defense came up with another big stop after the interception, got the ball back for the touchdown. And they've also had a safety in this game, and that's where we are 63 to 12. Another incomplete pass as it's down to 220 left to go in this game as Keontae Griffin, who has an interception in the game way back in the first quarter, set up the first touchdown for the Storm. Nearly comes up with one there. I think he thought he might have a pick six. That would really put a dagger in the heart of this Rapid City team if they don't have one already. 30 to 12 at halftime. 18 point lead. Now it's 51 point lead. My gosh. Another incomplete pass and Keontae Griffin again with the defense breaking up the pass. That's going to bring up four down and nine. This defense trying to get the ball back on downs again. This has been a terrific defensive performance. Really a terrific all around game for the Southwest Kansas Storm. I mean, defense, offense, we talked about that. Special teams, you got the onside kick. Dylan Burkhardt has been perfect with extra points, has a 35 yard field goal. Everything going right for this Storm team tonight. It's the Marshals trying to, they're going to have another sack. And right there is Sidney Jones. <laughs> 
Big number 99 bringing down the QB. Minute 16 to left. Again, he is 6'2, 305. He's got some strength. Has little help there from number 56, Rennell Lewis, the former Oklahoma Sooner. But that really belonged to Sidney Jones in the big guy out of South Connecticut State University. I've never actually heard of that college. A lot of these colleges, these guys come from, some of them you don't hear, some of them are from big schools, some of them are from small schools, community colleges, as we have a timeout. So one minute warning, one minute warning, and it is a storm warning in Dodge City because the Southwest Kansas storm, whew, still bringing it down, 63 to 12 over Rapid City. We're back after this. up your posse and head for Boot Hill Museum this summer. Celebrate the history of Dodge City by exploring the brand new world-class interactive museum exhibits. Feel the rumble of a buffalo stampede. Have a conversation with the spirits of Dodge. Learn and relive the legend of Dodge City. Join us every night for gunfights, country-style dinner, and variety show. Well, by far the best performance of this football season for the Southwest Kansas Storm. 33 unanswered points in the second half as they lead big over the Rapid City. Marshalls 63 to 12. The Marshalls coming to Dodge City, making no arrest <laughs> on Boot Hill tonight. As there's Brandon Vinson, the offensive coordinator, as the Storm will have the ball after taking over on downs on the Rapid City 15 yard line with a minute to go. Wonder what the plan is here. Will they try to stick another one in the end zone or just roll out the clock and let the marshals quietly go home with a long bus ride ahead. And a 10 hour bus ride from Dodge City up to Rapid City, South Dakota. Rapid City in the uh, western part of South Dakota, so it's a little bit northwest of Dodge City. A long way up. So finally, we're trying to get back to action here. A lot of discussion going on. Giovanni Sanders been terrific tonight. Running the ball, throwing the ball. One minute to go, and he will hand off. And Zuri Davis taking the uh, handoff out of the wide receiver position. Again, the clock running now with 48 seconds left. And Mark Timberlake likes just to maybe run this clock out and not add any more insult to injury <laughs> for this Rapid City team. Boy, this second half has just been amazing for the Storm. Again, 33. Unanswered points. It was 30 to 12 at halftime. Marshalls unable to score. Didn't even touch the football until six minutes to go in the third quarter. And when they did, they immediately turned it over. Sanders, though, he's going back to pass now. He's going to keep it. Gets it up to the 10 yard line, and the clock will be running out as this will be chalked up as a storm victory. What a performance! For the Southwest Kansas Storm on their home field at United Wireless Arena in Dodge City as they defeat the Rapid City Marshals. The final score 63 to 12. What a performance. We'll talk more about it right after this. Who would smuggle a beer across state lines? Someone with a taste for Coors Banquet. It's been stolen, smuggled, and sought after since 1873. Still only brewed in Golden, Colorado. DC3 has it all. From in-person classes to virtual, we've got you covered. Faster certification, fatter paychecks, trade up to a better life.
ITC operates, builds, and maintains the electric transmission infrastructure. We are working hard to improve electric reliability and increase electric transmission capacity throughout our operations across the Midwest. ITC, we're your energy superhighway. Well, the fans celebrating along with the members of the Southwest Kansas Storm football team celebrating a big victory tonight of the Rapid City Marshals 63 to 12. And again, the Storm have yet to lose a game this season on their home field at United Wireless Arena in Dodge City. Now 3 and 0 on the home turf. Two of those victories in the league. And this is how it all started with the defense setting the tone. Keontae Griffin on the very first possession for the Marshals of Rapid City. And then Giovanni Sanders running it in for the touchdown, the quarterback. In fact, the first three touchdowns were all on the ground. As there's George Moriana, his first TD of the game, bouncing his way into the end zone. And then the defense coming up. Well, this is a touchdown from the uh, Rapid City. Marshall's one of two TDs in the first half. So we're still in the first half. Torrance Carr Young with a rushing TD. He also caught a touchdown in this game. Here's Giovanni Sanders to Vaughn Van Dame making his presence known as he goes up high on the wall for that catch in the TD. And then Demetrius Davis makes this touchdown catch late in the second quarter. And it was 30 to 12 at halftime. He had the feeling maybe this. Uh, a little bit of a game 18 point advantage for the storm at the half but second half oh they came to play how about Dominique Logan the offensive lineman the big 300 pounder comes up with a touchdown catch Giovanni Sanders running the ball in as uh, again one of his four TD three TD runs he had passed for a couple and then George Moriena capping off that scoring taking the direct snap spinning his way banging his way into the end zone and what a terrific night again as the storm scoring 33 unanswered points in the second half to win this game over Rapid City 63 to 12 Southwest Kansas Storm now three and two in the CIF Rapid City falls to one and three in the league. And the storm will be back home next Saturday night as the Topeka Tropics come back to United Wireless Arena, where again the storm are three and zero on the season. Once again, that's going to do it for us. I'm Leon Lebel for our producer director Mike Nelson, our field producer Michael Quay. We hope you have a great rest of your weekend. In the final score from Dodge City, the Southwest Kansas Storm over Rapid City, 63 to 12. Fun night at United Wireless Arena. Good night, everybody. a deal for every family. Now get two McDouble or hot and spicy McChicken sandwiches for just three bucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The only thing better than the free large fries you get when you download the app are the points you'll start earning on any order with my McDonald's rewards. Download the McDonald's app today to get free large fries.